Hello, and welcome to the second episode of LGBTQIA plus Heroes, Icons, Legends, and Events. This series of programs will cover a wide variety of topics such as astronaut Sally Ride and entertainers Freddie Mercury, RuPaul, and Laverne Cox. Today's topic is Marsha P. Johnson and the Stonewall Riots. Here are some interesting facts that you may not know about Marsha P. Johnson. Not like the brazen giant of Greek fame, with conquering limbs astride from land to land, here at our sea-washed sunset gates shall stand a mighty woman with a torch, whose flame is the imprisoned lightning, and her name, Mother of Exiles. From her beacon hand glows worldwide welcome. Her mild eyes command the air-bridged harbor that Twin Cities frame. Keep, ancient lands, your storied pomp, cries she with silent lips. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest-tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. This poem, The New Colossus, by Emma Lazarus, can describe the changing Manhattan neighborhood of Greenwich Village. In the late 1880s and early 1920s, this small neighborhood was changing from an upper-class neighborhood to a thriving immigrant community. The wealthy moved uptown, taking with them their traditions, libraries, and art. But this small neighborhood would soon flourish as it later became a mecca for new ideas, contemporary art, experimental theaters, and international food. The village would become a beacon for all those creative. Jazz would flood the streets, poetry would pour out of the restaurants, artists would paint the city, and the beat movement would transform society. The village would later welcome queer people from all over the world. Young or old, rich or poor, different cultural backgrounds and races would soon meet all under one roof, the Stonewall Inn on Christopher Street. As the years passed, queer people were jailed as it was considered a crime to be out. The Stonewall Inn was a safe place for people to gather together, share ideas, dance, and socialize. But one black transgender drag queen in particular would become a nationally recognized name whose whirlwind of activism would inspire generations of people. Marsha P. Johnson was born on August 24, 1945, in the city of Elizabeth, New Jersey. She had six brothers and sisters. Her family attended the African Methodist Episcopal Church, where Marsha would develop a long-lasting relationship with her religion. After graduating from high school, she moved to the village, where she would become a drag performer and activist. She was described as being very giving and kind. She would rip off her own costume to help out her fellow performers, or even if someone liked what she was wearing, she would give it to them as a gift. Marcia was not very wealthy herself, so she and many other people like her resorted to being a sex worker, which was very dangerous. Marcia's first drag name was Black Marcia, but she changed her name to Marcia P. Johnson. The last name Johnson referred to Howard Johnson, a restaurant. She said the piece stood for pay it no mind when people would ask her about her gender. Marcia did not have a lot of money, but she made do with what she had. She became famous for adorning her head with flowers or Christmas lights, but often enough, other drag queens didn't consider her drag very serious. Marcia had her own style of drag, and in the 90s, she was in a drag group called the Hot Peaches. Marcia also toured with several other groups along the East Coast, and in the 90s, she toured overseas and performed in London. Marcia was a familiar face in the Stonewall Inn. It's where she and many other people found solace and friendship. But on June 28, 1969, they were raided by police. This wasn't their first time being raided, but that day the people of the village fought back against the injustices that were occurring. The 60s were a very controversial time that included the Civil Rights Movement, the Gay Liberation Movement, and the Anti-Vietnam War movements. People were rising up all over the nation over the injustices that were occurring to the queer community. After the Stonewall Riots, Marcia joined the Gay Liberation Front and became a well-known face to the Gay Liberation Movement. On the one-year anniversary of the Stonewall Riots, the first ever Gay Pride event occurred and was called the Christopher Street Liberation Day. Marcia attended the Christopher Street Liberation Day March in New York and there were marches all over the United States in Chicago, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Marcia was the queen of Christopher Street and also modeled for Andy Warhol. Marcia continued her activism with the help of Sylvia Rivera, 
Silvio Rivera was a transgender drag performer and they co-founded the Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries, or STAR organization, an activist group to support LGBT homeless youth and sex workers in Lower Manhattan. In their day, transvestite was not considered a derogatory term. However, it is considered a derogatory term to describe someone who is transgender today. But even in the midst of the gay liberation movement, racism and transphobia existed within the queer community. Marcia and Sylvia were banned by the organizing committees because the committees felt that they were giving the marches a bad reputation. In 1992, Marcia passed away and her death was ruled a suicide. However, many of her friends did not believe that and instead believed that she was murdered. According to the documentary, The Death and Life of Marcia P. Johnson, Many transgender people would go missing or be killed, and their cases would go unsolved even to this day. Marcia sometimes struggled with mental illness and was arrested by the police on a number of occasions, but thanks to the efforts of many activist groups and individuals and Victoria Cruz, the suicide ruling was stricken from the records and her death was deemed undetermined. Marcia's legacy lives on in the creation of the Marcia P. Johnson Institute that protects and defends the human rights of black transgender people. To know more about Marsha P. Johnson, you can check out these materials in our catalog. Go to www.gwinnettepl.org to check out the following. Stonewall, A Building, An Uprising, A Revolution by Rob Sanders. What Was Stonewall by Nico Medina. Stonewall Uprising, a PBS documentary. My name is Donna. And my name is Brandon. And thank you for joining us today and listening to our presentation.